Good morning, everyone. Jim here from Storm Warning News. Good day, good afternoon, whatever time you are watching this. I'm a bit repetitive, I admit, uh, but sometimes messages need to be repeated. And I'm feeling very led to repeat this one today. I've said this before, but um, try to find others like you. Try to find community if you can. And if you're going somewhere, get there as fast as possible, as soon as possible, now if possible. Um, bear with me here a second. Okay. <laughs> uh, if you're trying to make a move, change your, your residence or your location, do it as quickly as you can. Find people that are like you, that share your faith in Christ. If you can, it's getting harder. Everything is becoming more of a challenge. We're being squeezed. We're being singled out. And our opportunities to, to better our positions in this world for however much longer we are going to be here, that time is running out. Get on your towpath and start walking if you can. If you can, pray for help and guidance. In my situation, we here, we need to make a move. We need to make a residential move. We want to. It's not so much a matter of need. We want to. It's difficult. If you feel like you need to move to a new location, a new home, try to do it now at a time when it is so expensive. If you can find yourself in an area where people are like you, get there. Get on your towpath and walk now if you can, because time is ticking against us. I am, I am overwhelmed with this feeling today in my spirit and in my mind, almost to the point of causing me anxiety. But I will be anxious for nothing, because the Lord Jesus has got this. He's got this for us, folks. Pray for guidance. Wherever you are going, get there. I said this a few months ago. The windows and doors are closing. We have to make our moves now. Physical community is so helpful if you can find it, whether it be in a church, in the church itself, this uh, progressive uh, apostasy that we are suffering through. The church itself is deteriorating. We knew this would happen but there are still others like you and I, like us, who share that basic core faith of life through Jesus Christ. Find them. They're out there. There's not as many as there used to be. We could be here for a while, my friends. Let's hope that um, we are called up. But we could be here for a while. I'm not going to get into a pre-trib, mid-trib, post-trib discussion here. Um, if you want to discuss that amongst yourselves, you can. But we could be here for a while. We don't know. We see the signs. We know where we are in history. We see wars, rumors of wars. We see famines, pestilences already. We see things moving in a direction toward the rise of the Antichrist, the man of sin, the son of perdition. So we need to get where we can to be safe. I sometimes wish that I was in the Smoky Mountains, somewhere around Tennessee, maybe. Don't know if I'm ever going to get there. So I'm stuck in my area. I've got to find something better in my area. Maybe you need to find something better in your area. But let's get there. Wherever you are going, do your best to get there as soon as possible. And again, Father... In the name of Jesus, I ask you, please dispatch your warrior angels to surround us and protect us from all evil and all danger, natural and supernatural. Father, give us wisdom and discernment through the power of your Holy Spirit. Guide us, heal us, rebuke us where necessary, mold us. We are the clay, you are the potter. Mold us into what you would like us to be. Help us. We are powerless without you. But when we are weakest, we are strong in you, Lord God. Praise you, Jesus, our risen King, our Lord of Lords, our all and all, our defender, 
our intercessor, our life-redeeming, life-giving blood. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Help us, guide us, lead us, wisdom, discernment, patience, healing, deliverance, peace, the perfect peace that transcends all understanding to guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Get there, my friends. This is Jim signing off until the next time. God bless you.